Regular army trucks are increasingly vulnerable to mines and improvised explosive devices, or IEDs. So armies are now turning to something a cross between a truck and an armoured personnel carrier. These are called MRAPs, mine resistant ambush protected vehicles. Ukraine has made one called the Cossack 2. ICM, also from Ukraine, has made a 135th scale of it. I've got one to make. Why don't you join me and have a look at what you get inside the box of the ICM Cossack 2 right here on Gary's Stuff. Hi there, I'm Gary. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Today is box opening day on Kit of the Week. That kit is the 135th scale Cossack 2 MRAP vehicle from ICM. Now, if you've already got one of these and want to know how to put it together, you'll need to look out for the build video later in the week. If you're thinking about buying one, this is probably very much the first video you should be watching. Now, if you like the video, and I hope you do, please remember, do give it the imperial thumbs up on the like button below because every like counts. And of course, if you haven't done so yet, please do subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and you'll be notified of all my future content as it becomes published, which will include the build video of this kit. Of course, if you'd like to add a bit more concrete support to the channel, you can do that through Super Thanks by becoming a channel member or by using any of my online affiliate programs. I should point out that this kit was sent to me for free by ICM as a review sample. However, they have not asked me to say anything in particular about it. They haven't given me a script or any of that nonsense. They just want an honest build review from me and that is exactly what they're going to get. That's exactly what you're going to get. So let's make a start and have a look inside the box of the 135th scale Cossack 2 MRAP vehicle from ICM. It's the box of the ICM Cossack 2. It says Cossack 2 there. Model kit number 35014. Um, and as it says here, it's a Ukrainian MRAP class armoured vehicle. That's mine resistant, ambush protected. It's in 135th scale. And of course, it's made in Ukraine. This kit has been made apparently with the assistance of Praktika. I guess they make this thing on the side of the box here we have the four color schemes that come with the kit i'm not entirely sure which one yet i will do um possibly this one maybe maybe that one i don't know yet which one of the but which one i'll do yet i have no idea um the ends just have the uh reprise of the artwork here and on this side, there is a bit of description of the Cossack 2 itself. And then the contents of the box. It says here, uh, the kit is 207 millimeters long. It has a height of 100 millimeters. That's quite big. 449 parts. This is why I'm taking two weeks over it. Four 149 parts. Goodness me. Um, there's not even that much in the way of photo etch inside. So there we go. Lovely piece of box artwork, I think. Very evocative of the vehicle and its theatre of use. Let's see what we get inside the box. The lid slips off as is normal for ICM kits and then there's a flip top on the inside here we have the Cossack 2 instructions the very large decal sheet because this is the uh, splinter camouflage for one of the versions there it should be splinter camouflage for one of the other versions as well anyway there's the um, instructions we'll have a look at that in a bit but there's the other 
thought they were in here somewhere. The other decal sheets for the other splinter camouflages and for the other things like you know, vehicle registrations and stuff like that. Then there's the plastic parts. There are uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all right, eight or nine um, grey plastic frames. There's two clear plastic frames. There's a sheet of photo etch as well. But we'll have a look at all of these in a bit more detail now. One, two, three, one, two, three. This is frame A. Um, this is basically the floor pan of the vehicle, so it gives you a good feel for the size of the vehicle. Um, this is one of the uh, chassis rails, principal chassis rails. Interior walls, one of the exterior walls, front windscreen, um, the interim panel drivers panel in there, bits and pieces. So it's quite quite a sizable chunk of kit, as you can see. Frame B has the other chassis rail, the other exterior panel. Um, they've got doors, um, more parts of the seats and base of the seating for the uh, troop area, the hood and the underside panel. Um, yeah, bits and pieces like that. Frame C is most of the interior working. So you've got all these suspension parts here, um, drive shafts. I think these are the driver seats here. There's a sump, bits of engine. There's not a full engine on this because it's obviously protected by the underside um, shields. Covers for lamps uh, and exterior bits and pieces, you know, shovels, picks, tools of various kinds and stuff like that, tow bar and what have you. So all like the mechanical extras, if you like, are here. This is frame D, Delta. Um, we have three of them, I think. Um, yep, that's a D and that's a frame D as well. I don't know why we've got three, but anyway, we have, we've got three frame Ds. These are things like the interior seats, fuel cabin. These are the covers for the wheels, the um, ambush proof covers for the wheels. These are interior handles, um, bits and pieces for the, the structure of the seats. Um, just general bits and pieces, really. There is a frame E as well here. This is uh, the rear, rear uh, structure of the vehicle, rear doors. These are the... Um, all of the doors come with insides and outsides as well, by the way, I think. So this is, you know, this is um, maybe the crew doors here. Um, just bits and pieces. That's the uh, gun that goes on the top. And this is parts of the turret that go on the top as well. This is one of the transparent frames. There are two identical transparent frames in this kit. There's a sheet of photo etch as well. Um, I know a lot of these bits are protections for various lights and stuff like that, so they don't get broken. So, but there's not, fortunately, not very much to do with the photo etch. And finally, there's a bag of tires, molded, pre-molded tires. Aren't they lovely? Neoprene sort of feel to them. I'm so glad those are there because it means you don't have that awful seam through the tread. They look pretty realistic as well from a distance. You can add mud effects to it as well if you want, obviously, and dusting and whatever. But I think they're brilliant. I'm re really, really happy we've got those. Now, as I mentioned, there are three different uh, sets of markings here. The top sheet is for the stencils and also two of the schemes two of the more sort of um, restrained if you like camouflage schemes this middle one here is for the full digital uh, splinter camouflage there's a lot there's what 90 94 different pieces of uh, transfer of decals put on there and i'm not doing those uh, and here this one's for 
the one that's slightly more subdued. So that's the full on digital splinter pixel scheme, a slightly more reserved one, and then one where they haven't bothered with the digital splinters at all. Um, probably where I'm going, if I'm honest, or I might go for this one. I'm, I'm not going to do that one. I might do this one. I'll, I'll see how I feel. And we can have a closer look at decals here. We use our standard 0.5 millimeter propelling pencil lead here, a scale. And you can see these are actually not badly printed at all. The white is very difficult to get clean. And that looks really very nice. It's certainly going to look fine on the inside of a truck. I uh, don't quite know what those markings are for. Maybe they'll sort of switch gear on the front as well. Um, lock and unlock symbols for various things. The registration plates here and then the Ukrainian symbol, which looks very crisply printed indeed. The instructions now, and you can tell this is a, 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 an absolutely up to date piece of ICM stuff, apart from the fact it's got a QR code and there's a step by step instructional video, which is very nice. Although, of course, you'll be watching mine as well. Um, you can tell because, firstly, this side is in Ukrainian, not in Russian. Um, there's a the actual words I don't know very much, but I know for sure that lowercase i that you see there's dotted through there. You don't see that in Russian, that's in Ukrainian. So, this is all you in Ukrainian. Um, the Color codes, so the color call outs here reference ICM paint numbers. Those are the numbers I'll be using because I've got a set of ICM paints. That's fantastic. And also, you get the lovely, lovely box art reprieve here. It's a full color print, it looks very, very smart. I think it's fantastic. Um, and then, obviously, you get some symbology here, it tells you what you need to do for each of those. Very, very nice indeed. On the inside here, you have um, layout maps for all of the frames. Oh yeah, we do have to have three Ds, that's very good. There's a lot of frames in here. And then the instructions themselves. Again, you know this is modern ICM because they are really properly step by step by step by step, really, really nicely put together. They're not in full color, in two part color, but you know what, I've not yet had too many problems um, following these. Um, he said, with possibly misplaced confidence, but we'll find out when we build the thing. But as you can see, there's a lot to do, an awful lot to do on this kit. But the benefit of that is it looks like it's going to be an absolute gem when it's finished. Obviously, the doors can all be opened, which mine will be. They'll have all the doors open so you can see all the detail inside. Yeah. Really, really impressive piece of kit, this. And then, that's, that's what we're aiming for. Something like that. Then we go to the uh, decal layouts here. This is for uh, the 35th Separate Marine Brigade in 2021 in Ukraine. Very nice pixelated camouflage there. The Then there's the 36th Separate Marine Brigade, also August 2001, um, which is a bit more appealing. And might, that might be my one to do. I don't know yet. We'll, we'll see. Then there's a reconnaissance unit of Ukrainian Armed Forces in November 2022. Again, a bit more muted, but with the white cross symbols on as well. And then... Autumn 2022, an unknown unit of the Ukrainian Armed Forces with the uh, white ID stripes and white crosses as well, and the remnants of the pixel camouflage. Um, difficult to know which one to do, to be honest. I am sort of hedging towards this. I know it's a lot of work on the, st on the uh, decals, but do you know what? I think it looks really nice. I think it looks really, really good, in fact. There's going to be a lot of issues here with um, cutouts over doors and stuff like that, but hey, it's all opportunity, right? It's all opportunity to do something really cool. So 
that's probably the one I'm going to go for. 36th Separate Marine Brigade. Okay, that's the instructions. There it is then. There's a lot to do. That's quite a complex looking interior, but it looks fun. It looks like it could be an amazing kit to build. Um, it will take time though, which is why I've allowed two weeks of it. So it's kit of the weeks for two weeks running. Anyway, we'll see how we go. Check out the build video when it comes up. How are you going to do that? Well, best thing to do, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell, then you'll get notified of all my future content as it's published. And of course, anything you like on the channel, please give it the old imperial thumbs up on the like button below because every like counts. Thank you so very much for watching today. Hope to see you again very soon. Take good care now and goodbye.